kind of an off-season bonus edition of this week in Mizzou basketball here on the uh, Mizzou Network as we're talking with Tiger head coach Kim Anderson. And coach, uh, the off-season is here. Um, really your, your first full off-season since you became the head coach. And uh, as you come off your first campaign as, as the man in charge of your alma mater, what are some of your off-season goals and priorities for your program? Well, you know, obviously we got a lot to do. I, you know, I think the first year for me was uh, uh, certainly a learning experience. But, uh, you know, the, the first thing I think we need to concentrate on is, is continuing our academic achievement. You know, we've got great resources here at the university, and, and our guys have done a good job, but we want to continue to promote that and prioritize that so that ultimately they can get their degrees. With the departure of uh, former associate head coach Tim Fuller, you've got some staff reorganization to do. And give us a window into what it's going to be like to add a, a new assistant coach and uh, maybe redelegate some things. Yeah, I think that, that as we go forth in, in hiring a new coach, uh, I think that uh, you know, I'll review everybody's staff responsibilities so that we can ensure that we're ut utilizing our strengths and uh, uh, getting guys in the right uh, positions as far as recruiting, uh, coaching, skill development, player development. And, and I think that'll be an ongoing process once we get a new coach on board. One of the other things that uh, I know you're looking at for this offseason is continuing to get your players stronger. You mentioned that several times throughout the season that you'd like to see your, your group get stronger. And what's the plan moving forward for um, an increased athletic performance? Well, first, of, you know, it starts with basketball. It starts with um, what you do on the court. And uh, uh, we've always done a good job of skill development, player development. Uh, we're going to kind of step that up a little bit. I think our guys uh, uh, have been through a year now of, of uh, our program under me. You know, obviously we have some improvement areas and uh, our emphasis has been very, very strong here in the off season. We'll continue into the summer on improving uh, our individual player skills. In addition, uh, with a young group uh, that, like we had last year, I think strength conditioning, very important. Uh, Matt Herring doing a great job in our weight room. Uh, Going to rely a lot on him to help these guys get stronger so that they can, they can withstand the uh, physicality of the SEC and, and Division I basketball. And then last, nutrition. You know, I think nutrition is a very important aspect of any, for any athlete. And, and for us in particular, I think our guys need to be aware of, of what they put in their body, how they can fuel their body uh, as far as weight gain, weight loss. And so uh, that's going to be a big component too. Such a young team in 2014, 2015, and as you've mentioned many times before, it's, it's not an excuse, but it is a, a fact of life right now in this program. And how much better can team chemistry be as a lot of these young players move into year two in the program? Yeah, that's going to be a focus. You know, that's going to be a focus on us. We had so many new guys last year. You had a new coach, uh, new coaches. You have new players from all parts of the country. Uh, on a positive note, they've been together now for a year and uh, they've gotten to know each other a little bit and they've been able to, to uh, do things together. But I think we've got to step that up. I think we need uh, you know, probably more activities off the court, uh, you know, more things that we do together, uh, and, and, and even more things in the community. I think that's important. We, we participated in several things this year within the community, uh, but I think we probably need to step that up uh, for next year so that our guys realize uh, what an opportunity it is it is to play at, at the University of Missouri. And of course recruiting is the lifeblood of, of any college basketball program. How do you plan to you know maybe tweak things a little bit to better target your, your recruiting efforts? Yeah you know we talk about um, target recruiting efficiency and I think that's an area where we need to understand where our strength is in recruiting as far as what part of the country uh, you know, what uh, connections that we have uh, throughout the United States and internationally. Having said that, we want to do a better job of um, gaining more visibility in the Midwest. Um, not just Missouri, but, but in this part of the country uh, where people relate to the University of Missouri. A lot of grads uh, in different states surrounding Missouri uh, that, that that relate to Mizzou basketball. And now having said that, we're still going to recruit nationally. You know, we still want to, to be a national brand. But I think, you know, as we talk about these five uh, points
points that we, you know, we've, we've uh, discussed in this video, they're probably all five on the same line. You know, we, we listed them one through five, but I think every one is important and every one, uh, uh, every one of those points is, is going to be critical to us uh, moving on next year. Sounds like it'll be a busy and fun off season for you. Coach, we appreciate your time and uh, good luck in the summer months. All right, thanks, man. It's the Mizzou football spring game Saturday, April 18th at 4 p.m. For tickets to the spring game, log on to mutigers.com and print off your online ticket. That plus a donation of one canned food item for the Central and Northeast Missouri Food Bank gets you admission to the game.